There are a number of key areas to focus on when looking at a fire door to ensure it is compliant and will perform in the case of a fire. We will look at each of these areas and the products around the fire door to ensure that a complete seal is created and that your door will perform. The first place we'll look is at the gaps around the door. So the gaps on the top and two sides must be between four millimeters and two millimeters, ideally at three millimeters. This will give space for the intumescent strip and smoke seal and ensure that the door will operate in a fire. Intumescent strips should be installed on the head and two sides. They can be rebated in either into the door or into the door frame. Intumescent strips can either come as a fire only product or a combined fire and smoke seal as we have here. This would depend on the requirements of your door set as to whether you need a complete fire and smoke seal or just a fire only seal. At the bottom of the door, the maximum gap for a fire only door is generally 10 millimeters, but depending on the door core manufacturer, this could be less. And on a fire and smoke door, the maximum gap would be three millimeters. If there are excessive gaps or a smoke seal is required, we would recommend a drop down fire seal, which can either be surface mounted on the outside of the door or a rebated one within the door core. Other areas to consider when looking at the fire door are an intermittent air transfer grill that can be installed within the door. This could have cover plates over both sides to protect it. And it is important that there is an intermittent grill within the door core and not just the cover plates on the outside as this will render the door non-compliant. Any ironmongery on the door set must be fire rated and have markings to show that it is fire rated. This would either be a UKCA or CE mark. This includes the door closer as this is a very important part of the door set. Fire door must be kept closed in normal operation to ensure that it performs in a fire and creates a complete seal and uh, maintains the compartmentalization of the building. Fire rated hinges are important on fire doors. These must be a grade 13 hinge and must be also fire rated and have a fire stamp on them. This grade of hinge is strong enough to withstand the standard operation of the fire door as fire doors are generally very heavy and also within a fire they will ensure that the door is kept closed throughout that duration. The fire door hinges must be installed with intumescent hinge pads to assist with this. Other areas to consider are the glazing or glass within a fire door. This must be fire glass and have a fire stamp. This can either be a wired fire glass or a plain glass, but it must be fire stamped. It must also be installed with a glazing seal around the perimeter to ensure that it's kept safe and it will also perform in a fire. Fire Seals Direct stocks a wide range of fire door products for both FD30 and FD60 doors. And if you have any questions in rela relation to your doors to make them compliant, please don't hesitate to get in touch or check out our website for more information.